Hello everyone out there. I'm Jeremy with TheAwarenessRevolution.com doing another health video today. This is something that I've been doing for a few years now and it's really cool. And what I'm going to show you how to make is coconut kefir. All that is is basically fermented coconut water. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one or two coconuts depending on how much coconut water is in here and then we're gonna put it into a pan, warm it up just a little bit, it's 92 degrees, roughly, you know, you can use a thermometer if you want to, but it's just below body temperature, you're just slightly warming it up and mixing it in with a packet or two, depending on how much you make, um, of the probiotic powder. And what this is, this is a special blend of different strains of probiotics, and it's used to make coconut kefir. You can make milk kefir with it too, but we haven't done that. We don't buy milk. Well, we have bought raw milk, but we don't buy it much. We just use it. But maybe we'll we'll, we'll try it and, and make a video and see how that goes. But we really like the coconut kefir. Coconut water is great as it is. It's a superfood listed in David Wolf's superfood books on the top 10 list. It's very hydrating. And, you know, they taste good. So, I mean, if you buy them in the stores, they're pasteurized. It's not really the same. You really want to get it from a fresh coconut. But you don't want to eat too many of them or drink too many of them because the coconut water is high in sugar, which sugar isn't too bad. But, you know, you don't want to drink a whole bunch of them. But if you want to... Like in our case, we got a good deal on a big batch of coconuts, so we really need, really need to go through them. That's a lot of sugar. If we ferment it, what happens is the sugar acts as food for the probiotics, and the probiotics multiply, so we end up with more probiotics and less sugar, which is exactly what we want. You know, it's taking one of the healthiest foods on the entire planet and turning it into something that's even healthier with less sugar, loaded with probiotics, and it's pretty simple to make and cheap also. So here we go. First thing we gotta do is just open up the coconut and get the water out. So I'll just let that drain, and then we're gonna heat it up very little and mix it with the probiotics and let it sit. And this is the second one. I heated up the coconut water a little bit, so now I'm going to add it to a glass jar. And then I'll add a packet. And that's it. I'm going to let this sit for 36 hours and then I'll come back to it. All right, so we've let the coconut water ferment with the coconut kefir um, probiotic strains for 36 hours. I actually had to put it in the refrigerator because I wasn't ready to do the video at 36 hour mark. So that's a good little tip for you. If you know if it hits the 36 hour mark and you're just too busy to actually do the next part of the process then you can just put it in the refrigerator and that will slow down the fermentation greatly and it's good for three to seven days in the refrigerator but you don't need to worry about all these details or write them down because when you buy them they will come with instructions in them and then they're gonna tell you exactly what you need to know and if you wanna buy them Use my referral link in the description below because that's going to help me out and I really appreciate it. That's what will help me pay the bills one day and so I can keep on doing helpful videos for you all. And you know, bookmark it or just whenever you want to reorder, remember to come back and use my link again and I would appreciate it so much. But I really do 
believe in these products we really use them and I think they're great so I'm not just up here showing you how to do them just to make a few bucks there's much more I could be doing for money anyways so now all we have to do is we're going to take six tablespoons of the fermented coconut kefir and mix it in with a new batch of coconut water and this is a quart it's a little bit more than a quart so I'm gonna put like seven tablespoons it doesn't have to be exact but you want to make sure you have enough to inoculate the new batch and then you can keep this going I think she says up to about seven times then after that uh, you want to start fresh but with one packet that comes in this box you can do this seven times so you can make gallons and gallons of kefir so it's really cheap if you do it like that the coconuts are what cost the most and just one more tip before I mix it if like for example your kids don't like it when it's fully fermented it doesn't have to be all the way fermented so let's say I'm gonna take six tablespoons of this mix it in with this and then let this sit out at room temperature preferably around 70 to 75 degrees and then let it sit out for 36 hours and it will be coconut kefir but if your kids don't like it like that you can let it sit out for 18 hours you know or whatever and you know because the whole time it's going to be fermenting which will be increasing the amount of probiotics decreasing the amount of sugar so find that sweet spot in which they still like it but it's got some probiotics in there and maybe you'll be able to get your kids to take it that way and maybe over time their taste will adjust and you can let it um, ferment for 20 hours next time then 21 and the next thing you know they won't even know the difference when you let it ferment for the whole 36 hours and if you can get your kids drinking coconut kefir it's going to be so good for them and one of the main differences uh, that I like to point out between these type of probiotics and probiotics that you'll get from yogurt that you buy in the store is the yogurt probiotics are what's called transient probiotics so they'll come and they'll leave where these are colonizing these probiotics will colonize in the gut and throughout and will stay there for maybe a lifetime indefinitely until there's some reason why they don't leave or until there's some reason why they leave such as antibiotics and stuff so these are far superior to the probiotics in your yogurt so if you think you don't need it because you're getting a regular dose of yogurt think again all right let's go ahead I mean there's really not even much point in you watching me but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in front of you anyway so you see the process start to finish so there's one two three another thing no, notice how there's stuff growing on the top that's just probiotics that's just a colony of probi probiotics um, so that's normal and it gets milky I think that was three Jeez. four five six seven I'll just put a little extra in there it won't hurt eight just in case I forgot one or something and there you have it so again I'm gonna put this in the fridge because it's already been fermented it's ready to drink it's good for three to seven days and I'm gonna let this one sit out for 36 hours and then I'll repeat that process again cheers to your good health your family's good health and to probiotics that will help fight candida that will boost your immune system and produce lots of nutrients for you check out that description so you can get the link to where you can buy this thank you so much cheers to all of our health have yourself a wonderful day and make sure to subscribe so you can check out my videos in the future